people? How you doing today? It is me, Simply Tanya Renee, and I'm here with a cocktail. I have not made a cocktail in forever. I did them last, I think, when I was doing the cooking with cocktail series over the summer, but I figured I was trying to come up with a series for the fall, so we're gonna do some fall cocktails. It's not quite fall yet, but I figured what better time to start playing around with things than now. So today's video is gonna be quick, it's gonna to be to the point, and it's just gonna be this simple cocktail. This is called an old fashioned champagne cocktail. You're gonna need some Kentucky bourbon. I'm using this Jim Beam Double Oak, um, some orange bitters, some type of orange liqueur, and I love Grand Marnier, and these two, they go very well together. You'll need some simple syrup. This is just sugar water. That's all simple syrup is. One part sugar, one part water. So I always make mine because it's quick, it's easy, and it's cheap. You're also gonna need some dry champagne or sparkling wine. This is a Blanc de Blanc Brut, so we're gonna use what we have. Shout out to my sister for bringing this over for me. We have a shaker, we have a jigger. We're gonna use a cute cocktail glass, a correction, a cute champagne glass stemless. Um, I didn't wanna use a, a coupe or anything like that, so we're just gonna stick with this because I just wanted to use this glass today, no other reason. You can also garnish this cocktail if you like with an orange wheel, a, a dehydrated orange slice, maraschino cherry, or you can use a cordial cherry, a cocktail cherry, not a cordial cherry, a cocktail cherry. So y'all, let's get into this really quick video and get our cocktail going. But first, once again, let me show you all the, it's a gnat in here and it's driving me and my husband absolutely insane, cannot catch it came in Saturday and it's refusing to leave, like it's trying to take up residence. Anyway, let's get this together. You need some Kentucky bourbon, Kentucky bourbon, your orange bitters, Grand Marnier, or um, any type like triple sex, some, some type of orange liqueur, simple syrup, and a sparkling wine. All right, oh, and you'll need some ice. And I'm using my Jim Beam highball glass for my ice. Let's get started. Let's move these out of the way and I'm going to make sure that I put the ingredients in the description um, or they may be on the screen. It depends on, you know, what my heart is telling me to do when I get ready to edit, edit this video, which will be a pretty quick edit. Anyway, I hope everything is going lovely for you ladies and gentlemen today. Things here are going, they're going great. Um, had a really good time this weekend with my cousins. It was much needed. We definitely needed to hang out. So let's get started. You're gonna go ahead and fill your, your shaker. Well, you don't have to fill it, but put some ice in your shaker. Then you're gonna need your jigger. You're gonna go with, um, hold on, something's in my eye. Sorry about that. You'll need one and a half ounces of, that's, girl, what? That is orange liqueur. You're gonna need one and a half ounces of your bourbon. That's one ounce. I should have used the other end, but oh well. That's one and a half ounces of bourbon. Then you're going to add in one and a half ounces of simple syrup. Is it coming out? Oh, I don't have the top on all the way. And that is the reason why I have this towel down because I will be making a mess because the simple syrup top is not on the way and it is spilling out of the container. Let's sit that over there and then we'll have to wipe the counter off. Then we're gonna go in with just maybe three to four dashes of your orange bitters. Oh, I need to shake that up. Really quick cocktail, really yummy cocktail four we're going in with four dashes of bitters and something else you could also do is um you can make an old-fashioned um champagne cocktail you can also use a little bit of apple cider since it's the season for apple cider to start coming out you can also add apple cider all right and then our last thing we're going to add is our grand marnier and that is going to be about a half ounce Cap that off, put your top on. Told y'all this was gonna be quick and easy. Under five minutes, right? Put 
Pour it in your glass. Then you're gonna just top it off with your bubbles. And you know what I'm gonna do? Now listen, y'all know I'm a little extra 90% of the time. Since I don't have an orange wheel, nor do I have a maraschino cherry, it's fall, right? Hold one moment. Just to give it a little fall zing, I am going to go in with, first of all, we're gonna make sure this top is on all the way because this is ground cloves. Why is my top stuck in there? Hello, come on out, come on out. And make sure it's on all the way. We're just gonna go in with that darn net. We're gonna go in with a dash of cloves. And we're going to add a cinnamon stick. And it's probably going to fall to the bottom because this glass is so um, deep. So here we have our old-fashioned champagne cocktail. I added a dash of cloves and I added a cinnamon stick just to give it that fall flavor. Let's taste it and see. Okay, so one thing that I noticed immediately is it is rather sweet for me. I don't typically like my cocktails to have... Um, a lot of sugar I prefer cocktails that aren't on the sweeter side so if you are a cocktail drinker and you like yours to have that sweet zing to it this is the perfect measurement one and a half ounces of simple syrup is perfect however for me I think I could even get away with a half ounce to three fourth ounces of simple syrup another thing that will work is if I did a cinnamon simple syrup I think that would add more of the fall vibe to it so I think I'm going to make some simple, some cinnamon simple syrup, say that three times, and see how that works. But I'm going to play around with this to see how else I can make it fall-ish. But for now, it's good. I'm pleased. And I think I will go with um, a, drier, a drier white wine than the Blanc de Blanc. So all in all... I'm enjoying it. On a scale of one to five, I'm gonna give it about a, a good four, a strong four. Next time, I'm probably gonna, like I said, do the cinnamon simple syrup, add a little bit more cloves, but I'm gonna add the cloves to the shaker and a drier sparkling wine. So I hope you've enjoyed this really quick cocktail today, which once again is the old fashioned champagne cocktail. Stick with me for the remainder of the series. My goal is to start bringing you one cocktail a week and make it it fall themed. I will talk to you guys next time. Love you, bye, and cheers to you.